I'm gonna make this video. I don't know if they're gonna delete it or not. I put it in a comment and it was deleted in the matter of seconds. So we'll see. Um, <clears throat> what the comment was is <sighs> I was addressing the African American community to tell them the truth that I had found. I didn't know the truth and a lot of white people um, cannot accept it because it truly does cut like a, a knife. It truly does cut. Um, and I myself ran away from the truth and faced Yah's wrath for running away from that truth. And he brought me to my knees into repentance for what my ancestors have done and what they are doing today. I mean, to the point I was losing my, I was vomiting and I, I'm not going to go in great detail, but I mean, he brought me to my knees and had me to the point that I was doing that. And in the middle of it, I'm apologizing him and thanking him at the same time. Um, it's, how's that real and that serious? Okay. Now, what my ancestors did 400 years ago, when they took the, your African ancestors into slavery, they rewrote your Bible. And in doing so, they changed your Messiah's name. And they are keeping the black man mentally enslaved to the white master, Jesus Christ. That is not your Messiah. That is not your king. The true king is the black Hebrew king, Yahushua. And his father is Yahuwah. And his father's spirit is Ruach Akodesh. That is the truth. They are keeping you enslaved through the mind now. Go seek what I said. I'm not saying it to for you to accept or deny, but for you to go seek this. Because the African American is Judah. 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 People who have watched who have watched me have heard me say it several times, but it is true. It is true. I mean and and it is true. If you don't love Yah's people, you don't love Yah. Because when you love Yah's people, the best way I can explain that love is very different from any love you know. It's it's like a, a flower that blooms in your heart that does not stop blooming. It keeps up, it continues to bloom. And that, that love that's blooming is for Yah and his people. It's very different. And for, for a Gentile, that is its own reward. It truly is. Now, this I'm not saying it's really going to offend white people. But you cannot trust most white people. I learned that myself. I cannot speak this around white people. They become very vicious. They step outside of scripture and they first come at you, accusing you with sins. Well, hello there, Satan. Well, hello there, Satan. He is the accuser. As though you have no sin, please. You are the greatest sinners. Our ancestors are the greatest sinners. Our fathers today are the greatest sinners. Um, I hope they don't delete this. I hope this gets out. Um, <clears throat> not, not many white people will accept this. And the ones that do know it are not going to tell you. Because they fear you. And they fear your Messiah and your king. Because when your king comes, you will become the kings and queens of the nations. And they don't want that. Well, our father sold Israel for bread. And that's the truth, and that's the fairness in it. Period. So I, I, I'm not, I'm not a thief. I'm no, or a killer, or. And it's unfortunate that that runs through my blood, but the Messiah can cleanse anything. So 
I'm not going to try to dwell on that. I'm just going to keep on speaking his truth because it seems the more I speak it, the more he's cleaning me out. So um, I hope this awakens or leads somebody to the correct well to get the right drink. It is very quenching.